we on the schedule? <laughs> the Turks are on top of it. Yes, there will be no delays. Please, Mr. President. I am asking you to reconsider. No, begging. The Sector 7 Undercity is home to more than 50,000... <sighs> Director Twisty. At least let us issue a warning, sir. The stench of the Director's cowardice fills the room yet again. <clears throat> Read. Progress requires sacrifice. Learn to live with it. Hey everybody, welcome back. <clears throat> this is, as of recording, this is the last thing that I am recording for There's the Road to Reaper. Look at all these people. Enough to make you sick. Let's get this over with. <laughs> Excuse me, I have some questions. <clears throat> You work for Shinra, isn't that right? Then would you care to comment on the rumors that Sector 7 will be the terrorist next target? <laughs> They're going to hit the reactor, aren't they? You! Stop right there! Get the hell what out of here. What additional security plans are The elevators are right there. Let's catch one. You're up, Heidi. Heidi. It's one step up from high C. Hold the door. What floor? The basement. Advanced weaponry. Going down. Door closed. Perfect. Just perfect. Hmm? Huh? Uh. Hmm. <laughs> but oh, how the mighty are fallen. Wu Tai colluding with Avalanche and resorting to terrorism. <laughs> I always thought the Wu Taians an honorable people. They used to be, certainly. But now, now they're nothing but blood-sucking flies buzzing around Shinra's face. Would you not agree? In light of recent events, I mean. I would. A hundred percent. What a lovely smile. should take the scenic route and savor the opportunity to meet our latest autonomous weapons. <laughs> Damn it! I'll never get a better chance. That was Scarlet, Director of Advanced Weaponry. It was one of her machines that killed Melfi! Calm down, Sonon. Calm down. Remember, we're here for a reason. Right, boss. I'm sorry. Don't be. I was ready to strangle her myself. And that's before she sent us off in the wrong direction. Where did she send us? Only one way to find out. Don't worry, we'll get to Materia Research eventually. Just a little longer, my precious. Okay, yeah, so as I was saying before, this is the last thing that I have that I will be recording um, before Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. I mean, for the Road to Rebirth journey. Um, you know, I have other things coming out. I have, you know, Final Fantasy 16 that I've 
mm, I, don't, I don't know where I am at that at that point in this journey. I don't. I mean, I can't predict the future, but um, I've already played all of Final Fantasy one through six, um, and you know we have more more videos coming out this month. So stay tuned for those. But this is the last of Final Fantasy seven remake and the DLC. So when did Godo go to jail? My God, you people are deadly boring. Luckily, I know exactly how to line things up. With a little experiment. Just don't go dying on me. That might be a very interesting results now, wouldn't it? Unit calibration complete. Initiating combat data collection. Oh, that really staggers. That really messes them up when I do the synergy. I haven't done that before. Like, I didn't really use synergy in my first playthrough. And that's like, they really want you to use that. Yeah, real pain. It looked so hard for you, you Okay, get to climbing. A little gasket thing to a little squeaky toy. Intruders are about to reach the research facility. And we'll let them. Meanwhile, find out what it is they want. <laughs> you do have eyes, don't you? Then you can see that while they are simpletons, they've made it further than any normal Wutaian ever could. Clearly, they are ninjas. Teenage ninjas. Teenage mutant ninjas. And they've 
have come such a long way. We simply must roll out the red carpet. My trusty steed should provide a fitting welcome, I think. Keep me apprised, would you? Ma'am, cut system power to the research facility. Bar access to confidential data, then retrace their steps. Find out why they're here. Above all, do not let them out of your sight. Why Sir. does that look like the submarine to me? Just like the three soldiers. This is kind of what the like the underwater reactor is going to look like. That's Steadfast, steadfast block, that's kind of like what they're going to have for Final Fantasy 16. Um, and the dodge and something else. I know there are three of them. There are three rings, I think, that they use to change the difficulty level of Final Fantasy 16. <clears throat> and, of course, by now I'll, I will have been I believe it already, so this is past me talking. <laughs> That's the first actual um, treasure chest that I've opened in this game. Yeah, so that thing goes both ways. All right. I mean, we kind of just did, but... I love the lighting in this. It's so good. Okay, so I think that's the door I need to go. I'm so used to pressing X for opening chests instead of um, triangle. I'm gonna go to town on these jerks. 
They could have done a little bit better of an animation on Sonon. Must be the last weapon. Yep, Jin staff. Ooh, this is the. That's the proud cloud. Or the torso of the proud cloud. Alright, I think I'm just going to do this once, too. I don't think I even finished this. Chocobo? 
No, that's definitely not the way to do it, but... <laughs> okay. 11,000. The target score is 5,000, so we're good. ATB assist and ATB boost, not not too bad. But I know, like, what's the highest score? The highest one I want to do is... Oh, the highest is 20,000. I wasn't too far off from that, so... I don't know. I'm, I'm not going to try that again yet, though. I'll, I'll probably do that in my other game. Still go up here. And are we still technically underground? I think we are, because... We took that elevator ride. Oh, these are the Valkyrie. Gotta be honest with you, Sonan, I kinda missed what you said there a little bit. I was uh sort of busy doing other things. I think that's how Yuffie hears people too. She just sort of tunes them out, even though it's something very serious and heartfelt they're saying. <laughs> she just ADHD, I guess. Definitely did the Homer Simpson chewing noise. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Really smooth too, the way there. No, I didn't see that. I think I didn't see that the first time. I think Harkonnet. It sounds familiar though, so maybe I did see it. And they're a lot more flexible than the other, the others in the base game. Oh yeah, and here are the this the a gun and an arm from also from Proud Claude. That is a really cool Easter egg. I, I think one of my favorite Easter eggs in this game. In this in the DLC. They didn't show a foot. But it's not complete. Yeah, 
Yeah, this is her secret lair. Just think. This whole time we were playing the original, we didn't know that Yuffie was all up in Shinra headquarters. It does look more important than the others. This has to be it. This could be an alternate timeline or a different universe or something. So it doesn't necessarily mean that Yuffie was there. Can't see squat. Light, light. I need more light. You need better lighting in that place. Initiating Mako energy saturation. Deploying security rig. Power cooking. Material ready or not. I mean, they have those dark lights in there. It's like... Oh yeah, I can only go the one way. Can I go up there? I don't think I can go up there. I think it's just back this way. That was fun and easy. So, have you found out what they want yet? We think so. We can't say for certain, as their behavior is erratic. But they appear to be searching for materia. Excuse me? You mean to say that these savages have gone to all this trouble for materia? So far as we can tell, yes. How very dull. Be that as it may, I suppose I should talk to them. Ma'am. Enjoying yourselves, I trust? Ah! All by a simple hologram? How precious. But I know just what you need to loosen up a little. After such a long journey, you must be so tense. Ah! Luckily, I have toys for that. All far more entertaining than this. What do you want? Oh, dear. Is that any way to talk to your host? Really, though? As guests, it's more about what you want, and I think you'll find it just up ahead. Hurry now! Don't keep me waiting! So, boss, what are you thinking? That we're walking into a trap, I guess. But it's nothing we can't handle, right? Couldn't have said it better myself. Could not. Welcome to our state-of-the-art weapons testing facility. This is where we push every piece of weapons to its limits and beyond. 
Such tests are an invaluable part of the development process. Go on, see where the magic happens. Commencing ordinance testing. Select When's the last time for this trial? that they created a, a game that had these kinds of uh, over-the-top characters and I guess it doesn't really matter. Selection confirmed. Initiate ordinance deployment procedure. Because I don't think, I mean, if we look at like Final Fantasy 12, 13, 15, the characters in there are just kind of, I almost feel like they're bland Subjects compared to this. Test Tests will begin momentarily. These characters are way over the top, and they haven't had that in a while. Beginning analysis. Yes, on. Go. Cutter. Selection confirmed. Initiate coordinates deployment procedure. Subjects approaching test site. Test will begin momentarily. So this part, I admit, gets kind of tedious. I'm not super as much a big a fan of the DLC as the base game, but it's, it's still fun. I mean, it's, it's really nice to see how they utilize Yuffie, um, how they, they're creative in the way that they, they pull off the character design and the battling and everything. So. Um, yeah, so analysis concluded. Continuing trial. And I think her to deploy for this trial. Her voice acting is decent. Um it's, it's really hard to top um you know the, everyone. Everyone from the previous uh, from the base game. Except for Red 13 Red 13's Okay, um, his voice is, I mean, all of their voices, including Red 13 and Yuffie, are better than any voice acting I think I had heard. And, um, it's really just, ooh. it's really just, um, it's like saying you're on the low side of, uh, it's I guess to kind of like put a comparison, like for movies, it's like it's like Disney or Marvel quality 
but it's like one of the less popular Disney or Marvel movies. I mean, it's if, if you're going to compare. Um, but I could see a lot of people would be would not appreciate that assessment because, you know, Disney is very heavily saturated. Um, but I just mean the, the quality of it. Square Enix is top tier video game making. You know, look at the quality. I mean, look at the quality right here. Uh, just the character models and how far they have come. They've, they've come out with so many hits. Uh, and I think that's all, that's all I mean with uh, comparing Disney, comparing Square Enix to Disney. Um, they're two completely different companies, but and they're they're very highly respected in their in their respective uh, areas of expertise. Death wheel. I wonder how they're going to do, in, in the next couple games, how they're going to do oversized enemies like Proud Claude and Diamond Weapon. Um, I think I asked that before, uh, but it's... What did they have in Final Fantasy VII Remake that was an oversized enemy like that? I mean, they had, they had Guard Scorpion, or they had the... Scorpion Sentinel, and Crab Warden, and Air Buster, and those I would say are like medium-sized bosses. Uh, I, I don't know. I'll have to think about if we have come across anything that was an, an enormous boss like the the weapons are. Where are we? That thing can't be operational, can it? We better hope not, boss. At long last, Wu Tai's finest deign to join us. <laughs> You've performed admirably. Quit acting all superior. We both know you're afraid of us. <laughs> Is that so? Well, maybe I am. You should know there's more where we came from. Lots more. And you'll never see him coming. Just imagine a whole clan of ninjas landing on your doorstep. <laughs> oh my! We must do something right away. Well, you can't. Don't say that. Won't you at least give us a chance? She is brave. I gotta give her that. Allow me to present. Scarlet's not going to hide in the, in the back while her soldiers try to do her dirty work. This will be a memory to cherish for the rest of your lives. All 30 seconds of them. Although she does she does send her her guards to do her dirty work first. Ooh.
never noticed that Scarlet's got purple eyes. I really liked that machine. Not nearly mobile enough. Should have known those actuators weren't up to the task. Time for an overhaul. Hello. <laughs> my my my. How the tables have turned. Here's deep ground where we get some dirge of Cerberus action. Which nobody expected until we saw the science experiments or failed experiments. The unknown entity. Sleep well. Vice, this is a surprise. To what do I owe the pleasure? These idiots want to digitally replicate me, so I'm indulging them. I'll say. Transporting! These are very Nomura characters. done in Wu Tai. You just howl until you get what you want. That's enough, Sonon. I got this. All right, lady, out with it. Tell us where you're hiding the new materia. Don't play dumb now. We know you've been cooking up something super powerful. Well, well, Wu Tai must have some highly skilled intelligence operatives. That 
Or we have a mole in our midst. What was Go check on it. All right, but make it quick. You are correct that we're in the process of creating an exquisite new materia. However, it is far from complete. Yeah, right. You must think I'm stupid. Would I lie to you? Regrettable though it is, other plans have been deemed a higher priority. What other plans? <laughs> well, just between you and me, my colleagues and I are going to drop plate number seven on the slums. And then we're going to blame it on Avalanche and Wutai. I don't get it. You're gonna drop a plate? And? Oh dear. I think your friend might have run into trouble. Aren't you going to save him? <laughs> Quickly now. <laughs> Should have killed her right there. Somehow, I seriously doubt it. Oh, man, I so don't want to go back out there. But I don't think we've got a choice. Meaning we're trapped. I want them to suffer.
I don't understand his weird headgear. I don't understand the pain sensation levels. I don't understand him sucking the life force from those soldiers to get more powerful. I mean, that I can get a little bit more. Oh yeah, I forgot about this. Depressing. I defeated the projector in the first round. I guess this really is easy mode, or I just figured out how to do synergy, or both. Now can we please get out of here already? I think it's a little both. And I think that synergy is going to really help me in hard mode. I still haven't finished it in hard mode. I got all the way up to Nero. I know I mentioned that already, but I'm trying to figure out what else I need to do. Cause I, cause I got that to do, and then I have the simulation to do. Who could have done this? I don't like the looks of this. I doubt they're here to help. Subjects on site. It's time. Initiate the Tvia field test. Sir. Tvia? And this will be the last little battle. And then we have some scenes, and then that'll be it for Final Fantasy VII Remake DLC. Integrate, Yuffie, Intermission, whatever else you want to call it. What are you doing? Aren't you all on the same team? Team. Zool. There are no teams in Deep Ground. Deep Only Zool. The place where my brother and I like to play. Cool. Now mind moving aside. <laughs> 
take a different tack. Well, can't blame a girl for trying. Now, let the games begin. With this company, Nice tats, How bro. You. How dare you stand in my way? want to spoil the moment, but we should probably get going. But I'm so tired. I can carry you. You win. Sheesh.
They really do put a lot of emotion in their faces. Oh, rebirth is gonna be crazy. Oh, it's gonna be so crazy. Especially with Barrett and North Corel. Red 13 and the Cosmo King. Everything, it's all gonna be good. I don't care how much they change the story. I just wanna see those important story beats that we saw in the original. And I'll go off along for whatever ride they have for me. As long as they do this, you know, good characterization, intensity. Not super over the top like they did with the plate crashing and Jesse and Biggs, but... I know they're kind they're gonna do that, but I think the thing with Red 13 and Seto is gonna be that's it's just such a good story. It's, I think it's gonna be kinda hard to mess up. Unless they go completely off the rails and do something completely different, which is still possible. Cause some of the creepiest scariest, most intense parts of the original in Midgar was the following the blood trail. And they completely axed that and re replaced it with purple goo. I wonder if Nero's getting his pain from that and sucking that out of him. Help me. Ass up. No better way for a warrior to die. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. That chocobo looks really good. It all looks good. Don't think I can do this alone. If there's one thing Square Enix has no shortage of its good artists. The amazing Yuffie wants you. Join her team and the sky's the limit. She's gonna think that Cloud and them are her team and that she's the boss. I bet. Oh wow, this has been such a crazy, incredible journey. And it's, it really is all to preface 
the new game coming out. And, and I mentioned Marvel before. That's kind of like what Marvel used to be for me. I would watch all the previous games. Oh, yeah, cutscene. Hey, Barrett? Were you really walking the whole way? Yep. <sighs> Column's still pretty far, though, isn't it? Another full day, give or take. Question. When my mom says a full day, she means from the time you get up in the morning till the time you go to bed. But for me, it means from the time you get up in the morning all the way through till the time you get up the next morning. So, which is it for you? Gotta go with Elmira on that one. <sighs> That's a relief. Is it, though? <laughs> Cloud, bet you've had to hoof it from sunup to sundown tons of times. This is all just same old, same old, right? That's right. But even so, we're all gonna need to stop and rest. Especially you. Yeah, yeah, I know. Anyway, marching into the unknown ain't easy. But don't worry, because I'm here to lead the way. <laughs> That's comforting. Of course it is. <laughs> All right, everyone. Let's stop here for a minute. Leader's orders. Now breathe in that fresh air. Oh. Huh? Actually, scratch that. Let's, uh, save it for later, when we're not so close to Midgar. Guess this is goodbye, City of Mako. Like this? Yep, just like that. Cool. These damn birds! Uh, uh, sorry about that. No need to apologize, ma'am. a roof when you need one gonna be okay should be but weird my stomach's in knots that's its way of telling you it's hungry let's move Been a while, huh? Long time no see. How you been? Uh, 
Listen. Hey. Uh... Uh... I'm back. All right. So as I was just mentioning real quick, um, Marvel, um, I know it's a weird comparison to make, but uh, when a new movie would come out, I would watch all the previous Marvel movies. In this way, I was doing sort of the same thing uh, with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth coming out. I played through all of Final Fantasy VII Remake and, and just did the DLC um, but also played Final Fantasy 1 through 6 uh, for the first time. Final Fantasy 7 Reunion, or Crisis Core Reunion, Final Fantasy 7 is the official name of, the, of that game. Um, I played through for the first time. Uh, I played, so uh, I did that all before playing 16, and that's the next big Square Enix game. Um, aside from uh, Horizon and Star Wars, Jedi, um, Survivor, and Legend of Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, and whatever other game uh, I might have played uh, up until now, it's all leading up to Rebirth. And even just where I am now, as of recording this, um, it's just the Final Fantasy stuff that I've that I've played and recorded for this channel, and it is it has been so fun, and I see I see an argument for every single game of this, of the main series, every main title could be remade to a spectacular entry if they if they do it right. Um, I know that Strangers of Paradise. Um, I think that's supposed to be like a remake of one, um, but it didn't do so well because it, the battle system wasn't quite right. And um, I don't know what else, uh, you know, maybe, maybe I'll check that out. Maybe I'll play that and, and, and share my thoughts on it. But, uh, but I think if it was made into something like this, something that was, that's a, a main, a mainline game in the franchise, it would, I think it would do very well. I think that even though most of those games are high fantasy, towards the end or at some point in those games, they go to a sci-fi sort of world. And they could use all those assets. They could reuse them, they could tweak them, they could change them, they could do whatever they need to do to make them just that much better. Uh each game that they do um, to make them different, uh, even though they're using the same assets. Um, it's really all the characters, the story that that brings a game to this level. And like I mentioned a little bit before, they haven't had a game with this level of storytelling and characterization. And, and these characters are amazing. Um, and even as young as I was, I think I was maybe like 12 or something when I first started playing this or watching my brother play this game, uh, the original game. And I saw characters like Kate Sith and Red 13 and Vincent, and, and they're so, they're so crazy looking. And, you know, one of the first guys that you get, Barrett, he's got a gun on his arm. Those are really cool, creative characters they and they're not all human and you know even getting into like final fantasy 9 you have you know most of those characters look really crazy and unique 
you have Quina and Vivi, who are other types of creatures. Um, they're they're not human. Um, Freya is not human. Freya is like that kind of a, a rat dragoon lady character, uh, and and that's that. I always thought that was really cool, and as cartoony as it is, there's a case for making those those types of games and those characters very believable and to make them emote even more with their cartoony features and expressions uh, than regular looking humanoid characters could act and and be portrayed. So I think that doing a remake of Final Fantasy IX is a good idea too. Although the original game is enough of a um, a well developed game with good graphics, you know that it wouldn't need to be remade. Um, maybe just have voice acting added to it. I would say for Final Fantasy VII, that was the perfect game to remake because the polygons were so weird looking against the realistic background, and it's working. It's working so well, and I cannot wait for Rebirth. It is going to be so great, and it is, right now, it is April, as as of the recording, as this recording, as, as I'm finishing this up, and um, but re- it's releasing now in December. So there's a lot more for me to play, but uh, if you're watching anything on this channel, you would have seen everything up until this point. And if you've watched anything or everything or some of it or most of it, I thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time when we take on Final Fantasy VII Rebirth or or whatever game we happen to be doing at the time. So we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.